you connected your meter, you connected it to the stacker you made, and you connected it to the load. And you say, the meter doesn't move. Of course it doesn't move. It will never move. Because what you take is what you put back out, but you don't use the feedback. What is the three times, four times which you have supposed to harvest? You do not harvest what you take in. Your harvest is on return. Gravitational plasma is always stronger than magnetical. Magnetical is giving, gravitational is taking. If you don't take enough, you have nothing to give. So what you've done, you put back into the grid all the energy for past three, four weeks with all the units they made, but you never utilized it. And you're all watching a meter. You're watching a meter which is actually feeding back into the grid. You're not harvesting it. So I told you we teach you the system what to do today. We told you to condition the home. There is a reason for it. If you wouldn't done that, or when you build your system, you don't go through the process of conditioning and connect directly, you're going to blow your system up, you're going to have blowing your house equipment up, and then you say the system doesn't work. We explain to you, take, it's in your manuals, and we told you, if your meter of the house is there, and this is the furthest point in the house, connect, your unit here and add a small load that what you're going to do is by connecting it to the house you will start plasmatically coating all the wires in the house that by the time you move the unit back in its place and you add it you have made sufficient coating on the wiring in the house that you can start process of coating and using your system the coating, initial coating is needed because once you move your unit back to its original position, back to its original load, whatever you make as a plasma, you will be using it as energy. So you have nothing to coat anymore unless there is a surplus somewhere. So what you all have missed, I think you better sit, uh, Stanley, you two better sit here, listen today, and then carry on afterwards today. Okay? So what you have missed and what you did not understand between what was shown in Trani with the units and what was given to you as a power unit and the power units which you made, the stackers you made, is this functionality. So, what did you miss? All of you, up to now, have connected your units here or made a unit and plugged it into the wall, and you see it doesn't move, of course, because you're only seeing what's coming out. You don't see what's going out of the house because you don't measure it. We measure it. We have a system here, double stacker. We see there is a power feedback. So what you all have missed, which you're going to kick yourself, I hope, in a way, and the power you're going to harvest from your system depending on your national grid phasing. In certain countries, if your national grid phasing is on certain ranges, you can go up to 100% efficiency. If you have the national grid on two phases, two line, in different phases, you can go up to 66%. In most of the European nations, due to the phasing, you achieve 33%. What it means, you will see 33% reduction on the load, which is what's called one plus one third. How does it work? Now, what have you missed? What you missed is you did not harvest the fruit of your hard work. You just put it in the grid. If you have had a system on a grid for past few days, not on 11 what we've seen some crazy people have put 11 watt and they expect to nanocode the whole thing. We told you to build it up to half a kilowatt, two kilowatt. 
you will see something very strange. Go back. If your meter has been on and loaded the sequential, ask or pick up your electricity bill from last year for the same period and look at your electricity bill for the period you've been testing. You'll find out you already start making the saving, but you were not looking for it. What it means, while you've been running your test, you've been feeding your general meter, compare your bills. This is what we've done. Take your bill from last, let's say November, and then look at the bill from this November. If you have been carrying the same kind of activities, it should be about 30% lower than last year. But what you've done, you haven't measured it. What you got to do, when you make your unit, you take your unit back to the furthest position in the house again, put whatever you see you want the reduction on, load one of the the standard loads which you always use as a last plug. A fridge, air conditioning, a lighting or whatever which is continuously there. And then all the loads which you use usual at home, which you all missed, has got to be plugged afterwards. Between the meter and the unit. This is where you harvest your energy. This is what you all missed. When you put your meter and you look at the units which some of you made to see if it works and even on the internet and you put your meter, the unit and the load and you say nothing has changed. This is your meter. This is your unit and this was your load. You never understood. Your monkey see, monkey does like a bunch of not understanding the technology. You fool yourself. And you call this a hook. The hook is you because you do not understand the technology. What you should have done, you should have put your load here. How can you show you're harvesting anything when you put 500 watt energy unit here and then you put a 2000 watt here and your meter reads 1,400 or 1,500. You are using two and a half thousand, but you're actually paying for 1,500, 30%. You can push the limit to two kilowatt weight of resistance, which whatever that gives you in power, you'll get the reduction on. That's why we call them a power unit. We don't call them a generator. So, what you've done, what you should see, your power, in some cases, if you nanocode long enough and in a different proposition, you can push this to the limit of zero depending on how you connect your system and how the phasing in your city or in your building is. If part of the house is on one phase, you get part of it. If it's on the other phase, in totality, you bring everything to zero. So, all those who call you the hoax, you never understood. You're a bunch of monkeys who were there to prove you're wrong, but now you understand you never understood. You're a bunch of thieves. Those who understood and have stood by and followed the process, all you need to do now is harvest the energy of the system, which is fed back. The feedback of the plasma, you have not harvested. But if you run the systems in your house for past month, you already received the benefit of the bill reduction. 